Right, hello everyone. Welcome to another video. In this video, what we're going to look on is how we draw our Cartesian coordinate system using specific scale. So the first scale that we have here is that is one centimeter to represent one unit on the x-axis and one centimeter to represent one unit on the y-axis. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to draw a vertical line that represents my y-axis, all right? And then I need a horizontal line, right, that intersect this vertical line at right angle to form my x-axis, all right? So I'm going to use a different color or the x-axis. Now, the next thing that I need to do is to label the axis. So I'm going to label each of them. This is going to be my y axis. going to be my x axis. I'm going to leave the four of them. So here, this will be my negative y axis. Over here it will be my negative x-axis. All right. So now that I have labeled my my axes, what I need to do is to indicate where the origin is. So I need to indicate where the origin is. The origin is going to be right here. So this is my origin. Now, I cannot think about the scale. So on the x-axis, they said that I must use one centimeter to represent one unit. Now, what you're going to do is to take your ruler and place it where the the X and the Y axis intersect each other at the origin. And what you are going to do is to measure one centimeter from the origin. For every one centimeter that you measure, you are going to put a stroke on the X axis to represent that one centimeter. Now, what you must discover is that these small little boxes going in a horizontal direction when you measure with your ruler, it should take five of them to make one centimeter, right? So it should take five of them to make one centimeter there. So from the origin here to this line here, that would be one centimeter in terms of distance. So we're going to put a stroke on our x-axis to represent that one centimeter. From this stroke that I just drawn, if you measure horizontally, another five small boxes will give you one centimeter, all right? And if you measure from here, again, another five small boxes will give you one centimeter. So you put a stroke to indicate where the one centimeters are on your x-axis, all right? And if you measure from the origin going to the left, it's the same idea. Five of these small boxes will be one centimeter. So we'll put a mark to indicate exactly where one centimeter is. 
is on your x-axis, all right? So if you note here, the distance between the lines, if you measure it, are one centimeter. So we would have taken care of this part of our scale. So they say for every one centimeter, we're we are going up by one unit. So in other words, we are counting by one. So here is zero. So this is going to be one. This is going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. And here now, because we're going in the negative direction, it's going to be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, and negative seven. All right. So we would have taken care of the scale on the x-axis. Now, it's the same scale for the y-axis. So again, if you take your ruler this time, right, and you measure from the origin, you take your ruler and measure from the origin, you would note that one centimeter would give you five of these small boxes. So one, two, three, four, five. So for every five boxes on your graph people, you are going to mark a screw to represent that one centimeter. So this is going to be one. This is another five boxes going up vertically. So that's going to be another one centimeter, another one centimeter, another one centimeter. And we do the same thing here for the negative y-axis as well. So this is one centimeter. This is another one centimeter. This is another one centimeter. Another one centimeter. Another one centimeter. And another one centimeter there. So all we need to do now is to put on our unit and we're going up by one. So it's going to be one here, two, three, four. And down here now, because it's a negative y-axis, it's going to be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. All right. And that is how you would represent one centimeter on the x-axis to one unit and one centimeter and the y-axis to one unit, all right? So that's how you would draw up your Cartesian coordinate system.